people have been asking me to check out this video because we checked out one of Baxter's videos already. It comes with your Xbox! I don't have it! Yes, I You do. have Uno! <laughs> Everyone has Uno! And it was the Ultra Kill Act 1, and my brain exploded. It also encouraged me to get into Ultra Kill, which I started playing the game. You can check out the video here on the channel as well. Any who's even a blowfish, we're going to be watching the Genshin Impact one today, because as you know, your girl plays Genshin Impact. And for those of you guys who don't know, I took a break from it for a pretty long-ass time, and I plan on getting back into it. So, we're going to do this thing. My best friend Ant here, on the other hand, hasn't played the game but he deals with me a lot talking about it constantly. Before we get started though, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm of quads. All right, this channel is brand new and it'd be super duper appreciated for you to join us along our journey. Let's get into it. Show me Rataria. What? Show you what? What? What'd you ask for? Rosaria. Rosaria. Oh. That's crazy! Man, you about I to- I forget. That thigh me go crazy! Genshin Impact is a game which has sucked away my soul and killed my dog. I first oh. began playing Genshin what? Impact because- Why? Of the Why does everyone kill Why? the dog, dude? We get it, JoJo's did it, but Maxer, you didn't need to do it too! We trusted you! Dio Energy head ass. why would you do this? <laughs> Also, he covered Lisa Booba. I don't think those are her real Booba. I think that's like fan art. Have you heard Respect her moan in game before, Ant? Probably. I probably have showed it to you. That's fair, actually. and a philosophical enlightenment through the death of my own ego. I love Genshin Impact, but this game will have an impact on your social life. It definitely has had an impact on my social life. I stopped talking to my friends a lot less when I started playing Genshin. <laughs> Literally, Ant, I talked to Ant less. <laughs> it was... All good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Oh, they play the Who Town theme song though. That's freaking sick. And even after you stop playing, you will not recover. <laughs> to this day, it has left me in a perpetual state of sophisticated molding, and I recommend it for all the wrong reasons. In this game, you play as John Impact, an extra-dimensional being whose brother was eaten by <laughs> John Impact, is forced to navigate Avatar: The Last Airbender for Weeaboos, powered by its simple chemistry. <laughs> Avatar: The Bro. Last Airbender for Weeaboos is crazy. <laughs> Dude, I forgot how fucking million miles of it this guy is. It's crazy going from a video where people talk slowly explaining stuff to him being a little crackhead. I kind of love it. <laughs> this one's less overstimulating, though. It's just him talking. I feel like I can keep up. <laughs> you know? Speak for yourself. I mean, he's like, kind of know what's going on in this one, as whereas Ultra Kill is already its own, <sighs> like, clusterfuck of the game as it is. I feel like this is like us watching Maxer beginner level, and we like hit expert level when we watch that Ultra Kill Act 1 video. Like we were so you have prepared. a nice like TFT video. I think I, I think that one I would laugh a lot at. That's... <laughs> we need to look up and see what he actually has. I have no idea what he has on this channel. I just like kind of do whatever people recommend to me. Maybe a nice Borderlands 2. Like... A nice Borderlands 2. Oh my god, I miss Borderlands 2. Oh my god. I used to love that game. Damn, dude. Execute, burn, and throw ah, what's what what's is doing? Much less cool, but it, like Australopithecus, was my primary source of damage. Uh, now trapped <laughs> in the land what? of Gotcha Hell, our protagonist must find a way to save our siblings by fighting geometry, the indigenous inhabitants <laughs> of Twitter, space the Cubus, yeah, and the ice KGB. I, what? <laughs> I was gonna stop because I was wondering about the Twitter thing. But then the ice KGB happened, and now I'm just now trapped in the land of Gotcha Hell. Our protagonist must find a way to save our siblings by fighting Geometry, the indigenous yeah. inhabitants of Twitter, space midgets, and the ice oh, KGB. God. As well, we are here to explore, solve puzzles, play prop hunt, cook, get arrested for looking at Zhang Ling too much, get sentenced to ten years, uh. and emerge from prison a devout Buddhist. This video is going to be about my experience playing this. Uh. Question, do people yo, actually yo, ten, 10 bucks to say everything he just said back in the last 20 seconds? Go, are people <laughs> pedophiles for Shoglin? I didn't realize that was a thing in the community. I thought we all just sipped over Rosaria 
because she got the fishnets and they nerfed her titties. That was crazy. And then like, I don't know, give me uh, like Yai Miko. Is she hot? Uh, Ryan I don't Chauvin, know who Ling is. Chong Ling is like the little chef girl. She's the one at the bottom here. She's fourteen and she's a little cook with the with the bear. The bear's actually a guy. Why you've never showed me, showed her to me because all your videos are just smash her pass. <laughs> that you everything <laughs> you bring me in attention for is smash her pass or j you just running around. And I feel like all you do when you run around is just hit stuff with Zhang Li. Zhang Li? I feel like that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the guy with the pillars. The guy with the pillars. Yeah, yeah. I usually do yeah. that and like I play as like Xiao and I auto. That's like my yeah. Oh, I just good. I just That's got close. Scaramouche in Nahida. But the problem is, is that I stopped playing. So I just rolled for them, got them, and stopped playing again. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Interesting game and how to objectively have the most fun with it. It's a very bad sign when most people who play the oh. game don't recommend it, but I do. Although I am slightly a dingus, so I don't recommend you take my opinion as fact, but a as dingus. entertainment. So, so whether you're new to the strange otherworldly <laughs> Chinese software or a Genshin pro, please yeah. allow me to tell you the tale of how this left a Genshin impact into my frontal lobe. Okay. That was a banger. Wait, that song banged at the end. Hold on. Yeah, the, the song is Hu Tao's uh, character demo song. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That, that, I remember that one with the ghost and shit. Yeah, there you go. Don't yeah, know. she's OP. The age of consent is 18 years old. Let's begin uh, with what's maximally important. Not, not punk the gameplay, dance. not the story, nor anything you would typically associate with a video game. The single most important thing in this game is rolling dice to gain attractive people and then parading them around like a child on TLC. I do not exaggerate when I say uh, this is probably uh, what attracted most people to this game. If you want... Okay, so I'm gonna I'm a be honest. I started playing Genshin Impact because the guy I liked started playing it on the day one release. And about two days later, I realized he was spending all his time playing it, so I downloaded it. So I started playing it since release, like the first week of the game being released, because I wanted to impress a boy. And now he, I'm engaged to him. So, did Genshin make me get engaged? Who knows? But it worked. <laughs> I think you might be the only person in the world with that story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Respectfully. I might, it'd be kind of cool in like my wedding cake to get like a Zhongli pillar on it or something, because... Uh, he mains Zhong Li and Hu Tao, and he used to main D Luke when the game first came out. But he kind of got power crap. Let's use uh, sorry, nerd shit, Dragon Strike. But it's not gonna matter to to you. Sorry. An example: Lisa is a character yes. who continually refers to herself. <laughs> as <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Most people to this game. <laughs> if you want an example, Lisa <laughs> is a character who continually refers to herself as. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Her Ara is so hot. Nesama, and sounds like she is at all times on the verge of sex. Yeah. I received yeah. her after completing a quest and then decided that I would use Lisa exclusively to do rock climbing. Yep. That way I could repeatedly hear her oddly enthusiastic moaning for the next 10 hours. This is what I mentioned to you at the beginning of the video, and this is what I mentioned to you. <laughs> Gameplay. I oh, you, oh, you and Sky on the same page. 50 images of <laughs> he gets me. Also, Ganyu, fun fact. Interesting about her. pause. Interesting pause. Good okay. pause, okay? <laughs> oh, her feet are out! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize her toes were out. <laughs> that was just boobies. Okay, fun fact about Ganyu, in her lore, she was actually so thick she got stuck in a dragon's throat. <laughs> like, yeah. All good. She got swallowed, but she's too I like, thick. I feel like I've heard this like six times and I just never remember it. Yep. I'm gonna put, go ahead and try my best <laughs> to not remember it this time. Okay. <laughs> And then she went on a diet, so now she's like nervous about eating stuff. But like, she still she still got thicky thighs. <laughs> the official lore of the game specifies that she killed a monster after being eaten by it because her ass was so big it blocked. Him. Dude, this guy Dude. and I are the same person. <laughs> You're stealing the video. I'm sorry. You're ruining the content. I'm sorry. Pre watcher. <laughs> No, I just played the game, bro. Come on. I was a Genshin content creator only, exclusively, for an entire, like, a year and a half of my life. chance to get characters, and that chance isn't high. 5.1% to be exact. And that's getting anyone, so if you want a particular character, get fucked. You could have your very first role be a high-level DPS character that carries you through the game with chimpanzee martial arts. Or you could roll three useless small boys in a row hey, and then whoa, die or death. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> that those three actually make a good team comp because XQ, um, 
Bennett and Sean Ling is how you make national, which is a team comp they could use for like really powerful abyss runs. They could use literally any carry as your as your character, and Razor is actually a decent like four star carry. <laughs> it's a fucking <laughs> sleepy damn. Okay. Writing about bad things that could be deal breakers. The anti cheat for this game is very strong and has ring zero permissions on your kernel. This means that it can read and write memory at any location in your computer without seg faulting. Uh, I, however, am not afraid since it. I don't know what any of that means. It means that Genshin Impact can eat your computer and take it over. Can it? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. That's what he sounded like. He said he said ring kernel, and that's what that meant to me. You know what? Genshin already ate my fucking wallet. That's why it took a break. <laughs> I I, I okay. figured out how much money I spent to the game, and that's what actually made me stop. I was like, I need to pay for my fucking cancer treatment. I cannot be affording anime waifus right now. <laughs> stop playing. That's where you're wrong. You can always afford anime waifus. What the fuck? <laughs> Just I need to pay my editor, my... dude. I need to pay my poor editor. Shout out to Azu. <laughs> you you really working on that main channel hella hard. <laughs> Computer's data. All he will find is 50 pages of Waluigi Hentai. It's your loss. Waluigi Hentai. Off when the game isn't running. Dream. So this review is going to include a guide on how to have fun because, like real life, lusting after women causes suicidal depression. Step one. Oh. Play as optimally as you want. I have that. I don't even lust after women most of the time. Will... What? What? Oh, concerning. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people are talking at the same time. I, I, don't know. I, I, I don't either. <laughs> Chat moving so fast, no one will know I'm gay. <laughs> oh, hey. I, shut up. <laughs> also, I actually super agree with this. Is like, play the game however you want to. Like, meta gaming or optimizing doesn't fucking matter. Like, just have fun. Unless you're trying to play Abyss. Abyss is the only time where, like, stuff like that actually needs to be optimized. But it's like, what you're doing for extra, like, a few hundred primos? Like... I don't know, just go have some fun in the open world. Who, who cares? Snap your fucking neck. Do whatever is fun with whatever you have. In yeah. my case, I decided that I would roleplay as a violent misandrist and only play as women out of principle. Any men that I rolled <laughs> would be locked at level one and made useful in the crew lines. It is simply not. <laughs> Hell oh yeah! Wait, oh, base. Base. You. Base. base. Women, women rule the, the world. Hold on. Absolutely, <laughs> definitely 1000% secure in my masculinity. Playing the game optimally in this case Same. would be making the game boring and staring at man ass. So fuck it. If, for instance, I had won. Okay, but to be fair though, for something that he did not mention here about the man ass, is they actually have dick physics for the male characters. So Zhongli, Kaya, Diluc's dick is kind of lame, but like Kaya's dick really be moving, Child's dick really be moving, Zhongli's dick really be schwanging, schwanging. <gasps> El Hytham's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know respectfully. Mm -hmm. If I didn't feel like it would have ruined a lot of the setup here with this fucking avatar and the thing, I would have left the call. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt like it would have just caused a lot of technical issues, so I didn't. You know what you could do, actually? Is like, you know how you can move your, move your avatar around? <laughs> you could actually pull it downwards and pull it off screen whenever you want to. And pop it back up whenever you want to. <laughs> From your end. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get naked next time. You Stop play. getting naked. Okay, we had to blur it out last time. <laughs> Wanted a particular oh, legally questionable female to be my digital puppet. The chance of me receiving that would be 0.3 percent. Chi Chi is my first five dying. Take what you can get with the rolls. Don't be mad. Exercise patience and control, and you will have a lot more fun. I definitely have not sold my house to get big titty pirate mommy. But Max oh my I god! <laughs> Why are you just? Yo, you see the physics on that one? Hold on a second. Rewind. <laughs> We love Pirate Mommy. I don't remember her name, but Bado. we love Pirate Mommy. Do love Pirate. Don't be mad. Bado. Exercise patience and control, and you will have a lot more fun. I definitely have not sold my house to get big titty pirate. Oh mommy. my god. They go schlepperd face. Maxor, I, I like it. Thoughts. Why are you displaying a single image of a regular crab on my screen? And also, what is the world of Genshin Impact, and why are we here? That is a great question, James. I don't because know. before we get into the exploration and the combat, we must first understand the Context with which oh Jesus! I hate when that happens. And like every game made by Asian people on my channel, the lore is some hyperborean bullshit. So let's say rule number two of enjoying what the game say? is not caring about this. Just like he he is a word I don't know. He say hyperboring or what did he say? Hyperborea. Hyperborea. 
What's Hyperborea? Can you Google it? I don't know. <laughs> Last time I tried to Google something, I got naked. Oh, uh, we'll risk it. <laughs> don't, type, don't type a number. <laughs> Hyperborea. I want to see more of you. Hyperborea, an inhabitant of the extreme north? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, like northern the China? Land of sun, the land of sunshine and plenty beyond the northern wind, home to the Hyperboreans, a race of giants, the extreme north of the earth. No, nope, I'm too stupid. Bullshit. So let's say uh, all good. number two yep. is enjoying the game is not caring about this, just like 90% of the player base. Oh. The world of Teyvat is ruled collectively by seven gods who govern the seven elements. Except the nature god, he's special. This came about because 2,800 <laughs> years ago, there were like 80 gods or something. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attended. No, but actually seven <laughs> seals opened up in heaven, so literally every god fought over their power to the death in their own fucked up ways. Every once in a while, these delusional bastards will just give random people superpowers. Like how the electricity god just gave a girl with a mental- Also, you know what? I apologize. I was being a well actually dickhead for two seconds and you know what that's my bad you know what i'm sorry about yeah that. we I get it you made genshin lore videos you did all the quests you made the <laughs> no 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 quest. i'm even worse uh, than that i made a genshin lore video have, and you, never posted you have it. a <laughs> you have you have a degree in advanced hyper musical book reading writing theory and you that's not even know. my degree <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> yeah you got a degree in psy psychology and oh my god you don't know my education this is crazy you, we're you learning also so much. have a degree in getting bitches and eating coochie what you know what w i don't even you know what no longer <laughs> upset <laughs> <laughs> it instantly went away yep fair enough this order a talking bird. this also includes small children who could very possibly kill themselves for some reason now the world you see in game takes place in two nations or three of you from the future the first is monstat a lawless anarcho-capitalist commune in Yow. new hampshire which has no formal governance of any kind they instead Please. rely institutionally on vigilante justice including a hot oh. batman as a result the entire territory of the nation is completely overrun with wolves no one has the systemic authority to stop people from exercising <laughs> their rights and liberties to feed the wolves babies oh also oh. there's the fucking dragon problem did i not mention the most dragon next we have the nation of yeah Lube, dragon a rich and powerful country to the east they have recently come into conflict with monstad due to the Lu Hua yeah conflict of 69 as well i understand <laughs> you do it okay buddy <laughs> Mondstadt's like Germany, Leeway's like, uh, like China. Sumeru's like amalgamation of multiple countries in one, but it's basically like the Persian Empire. As well as an aggressive foreign policy involving a nine-dashed line in the Sea of Clouds, headed by the Tian Shuan Ningguang of the Liyue Qi Xing. Those are all real names. That's actually her. T yeah, that's a hundred percent her title. That's crazy. <laughs> he said it all correctly too. W man. The watchful eye of the rock god who periodically disguises himself to ensure that the populace is behaving. Uh, pillar guy. And that's pillar guy. You got it. Just in case. Now China. I know you're new to making video games, yet in my country we have a long history of shooting people. But who lives Hell in Liyue yeah, and who lives in where is it? The answer is unfortunate. Populating this extensive world will be several factions of enemies with subgroups, oh. elemental specializations, and fucking bullshit. The enemy variety fucking of this bullshit. game paints a picture of a post-apocalyptic nightmare world where raving bands of savages constantly destroy everything, Jesus. locking humanity in a perpetual state of warfare with armies of bandits and the midget people. One of these groups is the Hillichers, an intelligent race capable of empathy and complex thoughts, which is why they must be destroyed. These guys make oh. the Gombe chimpanzee war look like a fucking joke. And at oh. no point does anyone- Is that a real thing? Even give a the chimpanzee war? The, the, yes, the chimpanzee war. I don't know. I don't know. Was there a was there a chimpanzee war? They had the generals and shit. Race capable of empathy and complex thoughts, which is why they must be destroyed. These guys make the Gombe chimpanzee. I don't know. Also, this confirms to me that this video was made before the lore the lore change. 
Yeah, so never mind about my correction earlier. This video was made before then. War look like a fucking Bombay joke, and at no point War. does anyone in the entire game even give a shred of sympathy Holy for the shit, this is a real thing. Elon Musk. They can be big gorilla, small monkey, <laughs> operate complex machinery, and have their own language. This makes it more fun to slaughter entire- <laughs> It's so fucked up when you find out the truth behind the hilly churls. <laughs> oh no, this is so upsetting. Are they just cursed beings? They're just, yeah, they're just cursed humans, dude. <laughs> that are doomed to walk the earth forever. <laughs> like, they're just, yeah, there's a fallen nation called Conria, and they're the cursed people of Conria. So that's why they can have conversations and talk and have primitive like, characteristics. Of them and what did Conria do? With no uh, they tried to rebel against the gods. To be like a godless land. So basically there's a whole fucking group of atheists. <laughs> classic conrad honestly yeah i mean it's a lot more complicated but that's like the basic way of saying it and uh to any commenter who wants to be like well actually i'm gonna just be honest with you if you expect me to explain the entire lore that we learned in Ankanoi Mia alone you got me fucked up <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you're encouraged to do it. Overall, I would rate them a genocide out of ten. Next on, a genocide out of ten is crazy. Of organized bandits called the Treasure Hoarders, who are just regular guys forced to fight you with shovels and Molotov cocktails. <laughs> are you sure we're the good guys? It's fortunate that. Oh my god, I never even thought about that, that before. Abyss mages are very simple because they are one enemy with two oh reskins, who are also inhuman beings of the Dark Void, who have sworn vengeance upon humanity itself. They also dwell almost entirely in fucking space. The <laughs> Fatui of Snezhnaya are heavily armed <laughs> diplomats seeking to dominate the world of Tevat through subterfuge, and employing oh, wow. nine foot tall people with hammers is absolutely oh. conducive to oh, the story. <laughs> they are unique among Mom. Tevat because they serve the interests of the Zaritza of Snezhnaya, also known as the God of Ice. That's important because yep. it's very weird that they primarily use electricity and fire. I guess the Ice God is just fucking lazy. The Fatui are always <laughs> up to no good, like stealing the Wind God's power or like a bank heist. They're also really hot, so I'm not stopping them. Finally, we have the local <laughs> wildlife of Tevat, which is 90% slimes and 10% these fuckers. I spent most of the fight waiting to fuck do those something. Fuckers. Yeah, fuck those fuckers, dude. They're actually terrible. Computer deactivate iguana. <laughs> That's really what the combat <laughs> is all about. Sometimes it's like, holy fuck, that is a way. And other times it's like, I think that bush just fucking really <laughs> what happens, you're in for an experience. So let's find out if that's bad or worse. Oh, and Jesus, that barber picture. My ba my brain's frying again. It's okay, it's okay, you can do this. <laughs> it's melting. There's a game about flow where to maximize Max is melting my brain. Who switches between the DPS <laughs> character and everyone else. Rule number three of Genshin Impact. Pick one. Your typical team is comprised of your DPS baby, your heal support, your burst support, and moral support. Think of it like a train. You only need <laughs> oh, moral support. And That's you. That's you. Enemies. Now, like everything, That's me. I'm useless. Elemental Aww. alignments, which, depending on the enemy, can ruin yeah. the game. My wife Barbara could heal me, but in the process, must make everyone wet, which makes us a proverbial oh. bathtub, which Hello? enemies will then catapult toasters oh. into for <laughs> massive damage. It's a fucking blast. You feel like a chemist. That guy tastes a bathtub. Hold using on a the second. elements to his advantage. I think he did. It's Let me watch that video. Blast. I want to see what happens. Which enemies will then catapult? No, just like later. Uh, I'm curious what happens if you tase a bathtub water. I feel like that's really dangerous. Okay, we'll make note of that. <laughs> for massive damage. It's a fucking. He touched it after. Using the elements to his advantage and then blowing himself up in the process. Unless your DPS uses rocks, in which case, you know. uh just just watch i guess everything is elements and everyone has an elemental skill and alignment unless you're the nature yeah. god who has no characters some are bad and others are very bad but many uh, are completely game changing like how Beto's skill as a parry mechanic to the game or how ningguang invalidates all ranged enemies the combat is oh. definitely its strength and is True. an experiment in how Based. bad you can craft or psychotic dog water alchemy and hopefully create a moving <laughs> ball of destruction strong enough to kill god to extend this concept every character uses is one of five unique I, I feel overstimulated again. I stopped talking. I just feel so overstimulated. He's getting faster. <laughs> Controller erosion, the waiting game, egg catapults, and the <laughs> So be careful with who you choose and what weapons that. Oh, wait, no, it's random. Get fucked. Now, this is <laughs> excellent game. <laughs> gotcha, this is two no. sponges at each other. Enemies scale to your level, and generally, health is not hard to come by. So, depending on your investment, some enemies could take minutes to kill this all amounts to making Ooh. a classic video game build the tank entirely useless ah! 
You don't need a tank. No, well, not you, Steve. Yes, anyways, who is a tank against your will? Health is literally <laughs> always a shackle and a curse. That is, of course, unless you're playing Barbara, whose healing scales only off of health. Oh, Barbara. Her tankier than Tia. Mm. Let's go over an example party to give you some idea of the insanity that we're working with. It is optimal in most of my combat scenarios to cause forest fires by throwing a spicy bear. Why? Hey, well, it's hey, why do you say when you California with the forest fires? Hey, hey. He ain't wrong. <laughs> hey. Didn't wait, didn't the place by your work literally burn down like a month ago? No. And it was last year. Oh, it was, it was last, last year. year. It was oh, a okay. month ago. The hill was on fire. The hill was on fire. Yeah, I feel like that might have just been accurate what he said in the video then. Thoughts? <laughs> um mm -hmm. one of my friends' house burned down. Why is there so much arson in your life? <laughs> what is it's it? not arson. It just, it just catches on fire. I think lightning strikes it, and then everything's all dry, and it goes... Why is there so many okay. acts of God in your life? <laughs> That's what I've been saying. Like, like, give me a break, homie. Like, I ain't that special. Hey, just give me two tacos and a Baja Blast. we good. Me, 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 me and God will be having talks at the pearly gates, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Have little chit chats. <laughs> Which includes the heat of the fire. Or how about Ning Guang, who spawns a wall inside of enemies like it's Gary's mod. We just do it to <laughs> piss them off. Did I also mention you can invite your insane Discord stalker to play co op with you? The combat is oh. functional. Wait, there's co op in this game? You didn't I know that? Mistake, and this isn't even I literally mistake. never knew that. Yeah. That's crazy. You can play with three other people at the time. I never knew that in a million years. Mm -hmm. All good. Complicated system by you just can't do like the main story quests or anything or questing while you're in the party. But you can boring. go with like fight world bosses and stuff. Boring when you have to pick 30 mushrooms to do it. But you know, here we are. And there's also that like co-op game modes. Uh, there's a trading have... card game in the game now. There's um uh like random co-op game modes that they have each patch. One of them's like prop hunt, but that's seasonal stuff like that. One of them's like a maze you can create. You saw the maze I can create before. It's like the create amazing, like the course. Yes. Yeah. So they have stuff like that. Have to explore. For but it just changes each patch, though. That sounds bad, but it's actually the best part. Get ready for some cross-country gaming because we literally have a lot of ground to cover. So rule number oh, four against the fact is that if you see something, <laughs> just go. You've probably noticed at some point that this game looks identical to Breath of the Wild, right down to the UI. This is an objective. That's what I was saying. Assessment. It's just that the game doesn't give a shit, and neither should we. Breath of the Wild was so good that I wanted Breath of the Wild with more anime pussy. Because god damn it, why did Nintendo make Zelda look like that? The amount of bandits and <laughs> soldiers in this game suddenly what? when you realize it has the geography of fucking Afghanistan. It's quite the vertical place, but you're given the tools to navigate it, like your feet or your sweat. And there is quite a bit to to see so for an example when i first installed the game i didn't know oh. that leeway was in it that's over half of the map i was doing a quest that required a wild radish so i naturally went hiking to find it and accidentally discovered oh. the entirety of ming dynasty china at oh. which point i was wrongfully assaulted after being mistaken for opium this is one of those oh. games where you start finding chests in the wild and within 30 minutes are flying to a strange uh, island with a man named Jeff uh, he's going fast again this game makes skyrim look like it's in kansas there is always something to do and always something to I know Skyrim. That was a good stayed, reference. But they just... He said Skyrim. I I get that one. This is overstimulated again. <laughs> Keep finding ways to turn on my neurons. There is a puzzle. I just wanted the chest. Which spans an entire region of the game where you have to climb three mountains. You can spend an afternoon doing Oh, that. yeah, this one. Example. There is no direction that you can go that will not help you in some tangible way. And that's what's important about exploration. It's not just pretty, it's optimal. You see the shit right here. This activates my fucking almonds. Exploring this game oh. trains your neurons <laughs> to fire at the most basic of incentives like a lab chimp. But seriously, if you aren't yet considering the game, just have fun exploring it. Stop and smell the flowers and accidentally find China over a vegetable. I found it eventually. It it took three hours. Now, oh my god! <laughs> here, this would be a definite recommend because the game is free. It costs zero dollars. It cannot yank oh, you. Oh, he's bringing, bringing the money in. You oh there are no. Some serious drawbacks besides the fucking Chinese surveillance state that you have to install. So it's time to give you the final tools and rules Hi, that you need to enjoy this oh. game. Open up my computer. Okay, the game is technically free, but I want to just make sure you understand that like, I openly state this really quickly um gotcha games are extremely predatory and the intent of it is for like mobile marketing in general 
is they try to make you make one payment. If you ever make one payment, you're more likely to make another payment within a, within a mobile game. If they can get you to do one payment, they've won because that's what that's their only goal is just to make sure that then you're committed yeah because then you've already once you break the threshold of not being that's why people who are free to play pride themselves on it because the moment you break the free to free to play threshold is when you're more likely to spend again which is like what happened to me was that i was free to play for like the first few months and then zhongli's character demo came out and ended up you know rolling for him and i never really played gacha games to that point i played like one or two but not like anything super seriously and then the Shao banner came out the first time he came out, and I spent $1,300. Like, it was a really slippery slope. And I'm going to be honest with you, I did not have $1,300 to spend. I mean, like, Alicia had and to- And that's how we circle around to the debt. <laughs> Dude, I had to, like, I maxed out one of my credit cards. Like, it was so bad. And, like, that's, I know that's, like, a really, like, weird, fucked up, cringe scenario, but now, Alicia. But you got him. But I, but I got him. <laughs> oh, it was bad. It was yeah. That's a whole story for a, for those of you guys wondering how I can even spend that much. I got him to C one, by the way. But the problem was is that back in the day, that was the old weapon banner. So they changed how the weapon banner works now. But back in the day, there was no like true pity system. There was only the fifty fifty pity system. So I kept getting other five star weapons. And then getting the primordial jade cutter, which is like the sword. So it counted as me winning the 50-50. But in reality, I wanted the spear. I just kept losing. <laughs> and then I never got the spear. Until this past year. And then I got the spear. Nice. On his, on his rerun, I, I got the spear. I, for one, don't know anything about gotcha games. And I don't believe in gambling as a product of anything. You should never do it. Ant lost $100,000 gambling. No, I didn't. That was fake news. I lost $400,000. No, you... What?! Well, technically, actually, technically, I lost like 40 bucks because, you know what, never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll go down that road a different time. Because you only bet 40 bucks, so you, and then you... Yeah, it wasn't real. The money, it wasn't real. It's okay. Is that how you I didn't want it? a house or a car or a will to live. What? Oh, my God. Oh, this, huh? this turned dark. Part five. <laughs> Money! Money! Oh, the pain! Hey, 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 pain! you kill a boss want money want xp want artifacts want to live want to oh. <laughs> pretty much anything and if you have no resin well <laughs> better wait god will collect his existence tax and you will fucking pay even if you live in monstat <laughs> the irs is an eternal fixture of the universe and although it's nice to have fair guarantees for artifacts it has the unique side effect of stopping the game from being played you get 160 a day and for reference you spend 40 for boss loot so good luck and if you thought that was bad get ready for rule six which is yeah yeah, you, you gotta do the daily quests. We Genshin players are always hard at work on the daily dopamine farms, putting in that I love the dailies. So have a daily object every 20 days. It really makes a man wonder why we bothered with making murder illegal in the first place. Thank you, Kane. This game can give you a lot if you decide to commit yeah, yourself. Kane, but if you don't, dick. Scraping for crack crystals in a back alley, maybe make a YouTube video. That alone is probably enough to discourage most people. I thought I was going to be one of those people until I realized that I liked the game. Stockholm Syndrome is wow. actually cool. And for our final rule, you don't want to play with English voices. Set it to literally any other language except English. Now, the voice work isn't horrendous, but uh, it doesn't sound like the dialogue was actually written for English, and the translation is fucking hilarious. The wolves frighten him so badly that he's paralyzed with fear. We've looked everywhere and haven't seen any of the wolves. So do what I do and play in Japanese. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Japanese voices have the mommies anyways. They do. The thing about the English voices, I think the voice actors are so good. Yeah, sometimes the writing is a little bit of a miss and a little bit awkward. Just a little bit. Oh, but the, the voice actor for, um, for what should I call it? Um, for, like, Ayato, even Shao's is really good in English. But also his Japanese voice actor is Kirito and Sora from No Game to Life. So... Then switch the game to Chinese whenever you're in leeway for maximum... I know them. Hmm? 
I know them. Mm -hmm, I've mm -hmm. seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. And then uh in Chinese, uh Shao's is uh also another character in the game Chong Yun. And then Oh, uh the person who voice acts Venti, which is the wind god, also voice acts Durandal in Honkai Impact. Yeah, I try to know like a lot about different voice actors for the game. I just don't really know anything about the Korean voice actors. Dear Mr. I know Matthew Mercer. This is delivered my country from the Matthew Mercer. <laughs> His voice is so beautiful. Anti simp. Anti simp. With capitalism, now that you're armed with what you need, should you play the game? Only if you have self-control. It's not worth it to spend money on the game. I'm serious, and that's why you should give me your money so I can spend it responsibly. Remember, <laughs> the game is free, and so is the porn. I would like to thank the kind Chinese billionaires oh, and international that arms dealers. Is there porn? Oh, and there's so much, especially for a character named Mona, because she's got a huge ass. And not that I would know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, like least, yeah. <laughs> that uh -huh. was way too honest, way too fast of me. Um, uh -huh. I completely agree with Maxer though. I think the game is incredible and it's totally worth playing. I really enjoy it, but like for myself, I realized I lacked a lot of self control for it, and I kept justifying it being like, "Well, I'm making content, so me gambling shouldn't be an issue." But then I realized that I started going down this pretty dark rabbit hole of like FOMO, like fear of missing out. So I kept gambling over and over again needlessly. And it started to, like, really affect me, and then now I have, you know, I'm battling cancer, and I don't really want to, like, spend money on shit that I just don't want to do to myself. So if I return back to the game, I'm probably just not going to gamble. But it's, it's really hard, because I'm pretty addicted to gambling in Genshin. So that's kind of why I took a break from it, to be honest. I keep saying it's for other reasons, but that was one of the biggest ones. I don't want to, like, fuck up my money. So... Yep. <laughs> Money. of the Max or Patreon yeah. for funding my hopeless and deadly addictions. If you would like to help fund the videos corrupting America's youth in the name of Maxlite Maoism, <laughs> you can head to the description to learn more. This guy has been fantastic videos. And of course, your IP address has True. already been traded. Jesus, what a brilliant content creator. Wow. The amount of cocaine he, he gives my, my brain, brain is insane, right? <laughs> Wait, what other video? Wait, I want to look at his videos. Look, look at the playlist. There's 11 of them. Okay, we can do that, but here, let me just wrap up this video first. For those of you no. who, what the fuck? What do you know? <laughs> okay, continue. Sorry. Oh my god, bitch. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for all of your love and support here on Alicia X Death. If you want to see anime reactions, you can check out Alicia X Life. But I hope you stick around this channel for more fun, random, variety, bullshit, and gaming. We'll catch you guys later. Bye!